April 20th, 1999 will forever be burned into the memories of everyone who lives here in Colorado. 18 year old Eric Harris and 17 year old Dylan Claybold killed 12 students and one teacher on one of the top deadliest shootings in a school in American history. I just arrived at Dylan Claybolt's house here in Colorado and it's only about 10 minute drive from Eric Harris's house and it's only 15 minutes from Columbine High School so both Dylan and Eric lived extremely close to each other and close to the school. Dylan's house here is kind of up a windy road it's called Cougar Road and uh, it's in a beautiful setting so I thought I'd come and at least show you guys what his house was uh, on on the day of the tragedy. Dylan's house is up that driveway and again uh, I can only show you from the road but I mean look how majestic the the area is around here it's it's so sad knowing like what he and Eric did um, and just surrounded by beauty and yet they committed one of the worst tragedies Me showing you guys Eric Harris's house, Dylan Claybolt's house. All right, so right behind me on South Reed Street is Eric Harris's house where he lived with his family. I'm just gonna show you really quick because it is kind of in a little cul-de-sac area, but uh, yeah, he lived here with his family before he committed the murders. It's weird to think that both Eric and Dylan both lived in very nice areas, very nice neighborhoods. And it's just weird to think, like it doesn't matter where you live or where you, what city you were in, uh, you know, that they were just compelled to, to, to do the shooting. And if, if people are gonna do something bad like that, um, they're just gonna do it.